Hello and welcome to another Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to be taking a look at roles and how we can disable roles for export more specifically. Um, I've had a few questions in asking me, I've disabled a, tr a role but when I come to export it still is present in the export. What's going on? Now the problem that these users are having is they are muting the roles but not disabling them and there's a big difference. Um, if you don't know what roles are, make sure you go and check out my roles tutorial, there will be a link in the description which should get you started. Let's go and take a look at the roles menu by clicking on this button here. You can see there's a few roles that have been assigned to the project, one of which is the psycho score. Now, I cut the psycho soundtrack to my latest film audition which is this film here, the timeline we're taking a look at, to give my composer uh, Christopher Hansen an idea of the kind of musical placement and style of music that I was thinking uh, would work with the film. So I sent him that, but then I also needed to send him a copy of the film without any music in it so that he could compose to it. Obviously you can't compose over music, it just sounds messy. So I needed to go through and disable all of these Psycho soundtrack clips and going through uh, and muting them all individually and obviously a lot of you will know the shortcut to disable a clip is the V key. If you press V you can see it's greyed out so it's no lo now no longer active. Doing that for all the clips would be time consuming and especially if it's an even longer project it's going to be a lot worse. So what most people do is they click on it in this roles menu they untick the psycho score and it goes gray and they think oh yes it's disabled you you click export and then suddenly it's back you thought it was gone but it's back it's just it just keeps on coming back it's like a like a weed um or some other thing that keeps on coming back that bugs you like um like summer or twilight. So we actually, what we need to do is use a form of the V key shortcut, uh, and by that I mean actually disabling the clip rather than muting it, which is what you do when you uncheck this button. You're just muting it from playback and not from the actual project. So if we go into the clips option here and we type in psycho, and make sure that you right click along this menu bar here and make sure that roles is showing and then you can sort by roles and you can see that all these clips here in the timeline have had the psycho score roles applied to them we can now select all of them clips which as you can see is all the clips and then we can press the V key and now BAM they go darker which means they're not muted they are disabled so when we come to export then they will not be there and my composer will be like hallelujah I can now compose without Dan showing me this bloody excuse my French psycho soundtrack I get it Dan I get it you, you like psycho move on let me compose you something and now now he can't say that. And then obviously if you want to bring him back you just repeat the search again, select all the clips and press V again and BAM! They're back. Like Twilight. One word of advice slash warning is that dialogue will give you a problem. Because if you type in dialogue and click on all you can see obviously you can filter your results if you have a clip which is video and dialogue it's only going to give you the option to disable one isn't that annoying perhaps there will be a sequel to this tutorial with the solution I don't know if you guys have a solution post it in the uh, comments below hope you enjoyed this video make sure you request tutorials and Whilst we're at it, I'm trying to do this whole engagement thing to get you guys more excited. What is your most feared weed? And by weed I mean a returning thing that you cut down and it comes back with two heads like a like a like a hydra in Hercules. 
what is you, what is your most feared weed? And we can have some banter. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys soon in a brand new Funica Pro Ten tutorial. Downlandfilms.com. Bam! Audition. Go and check out the trailer. It's going to be out very soon. And behind the scenes videos are flying out. Go and watch them. There's like 18,000 subscribers of you, which I, and I have never been more appreciative of the support. Go and watch the behind the scenes. It's going to be exciting. In fact, the last behind the scenes wasn't very good. I shouldn't be saying that, but I'm being honest. I'm in one of them moods. Go and watch the next one when it comes out in a couple of weeks. It's going to be very exciting because you go on set and there's going to be some blood and stuff in the next couple of ones. So it's going to be really cool. Anyway, I'll see you guys soon with a brand new tutorial.